Hey everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and today we're going to talk about Koenigsegg's latest documented achievement, which is now being uh, the fastest car in the world, or at least earning the title of being the fastest car in the world. I could have told you that it was up there, if not the fastest, because I knew it was faster than the Bugatti, but John Hennessy was sort of floating around in there too with that top speed record unofficially, uh, and why do I say unofficially? Here's the leaderboard. Leaderboard is Bugatti at 268, asterisk Hennessy at 270, because uh, Hennessy only ran it in one direction. In order to have the documented record, you have to go both directions on the same road. If there's a tailwind, if it's downhill, anything that would aid in that achievement is negated by the uphill-downhill, the tailwind, uh, for headwind, and that's why Koenigsegg, although the record now stands at a blistering 278 miles an hour, it is not the speed that the car went. The car actually went almost 285 miles an hour, 284 to be exact, 284.3. And that is hauling ass, believe you me. So here's a quick clip. This is the, the car out in the desert. Now, one of the things you'll notice from that video is that the car isn't really moving that fast from zero to 200 miles an hour. Think about that. But he's, he's not on the throttle, like full throttle, until he's at 200 miles an hour. Then he goes flat out. The goal here, though, is not going zero to top speed as quick as possible. There's no reason. So that's why he was out there. That's why he was feeling out the car. Not even feeling out the car, but just accelerating to the point where... He could then drop the hammer at 200 miles an hour. There's no wheel spin. There's no issues. Just flat out until the car stops accelerating. And that stopping point was 284.3 miles an hour. Now, you're like, well, how fast can it go? Zero to 275. Not, not, not many cars can do that. How fast can it go? Zero to 275. How fast can it go? Zero to 285. Well, I put that together for you. So, this is a rudimentary um, I took their run where they were doing the 0 to 400 to 0 and I stitched it together at 400 kilometers an hour with the top speed run that they just posted because it's both with the same car and this is going to be a good estimate as to what a full out run would look like it's a just watch So there you have it, 37 seconds um, to 275 miles an hour. Now it starts to die off a little bit when you're trying to hit terminal velocity, but 37 seconds to 275 miles an hour. Think about that. Holy crap. Um, I mean, I, I just think about my Corvette when you used to try to climb. Well, you go watch your needle. Get in the fifth gear and watch what, how your car accelerates. Most cars don't accelerate anything like that. This is an amazing feat. 
then since they were out there and they had better pavement to work with on the highway than, than where they were doing their zero to 400 to zero, they went and laid it down again and now they're 33 and change. So they're now almost 10 seconds faster than Bugatti, zero to 400 to zero. Bugatti, big company, a lot of money, a lot of engineers, making fast cars so they're only really good at straight line and they're getting smacked around by a little Swedish supercar company. And I'm trying not to sound too much like a fanboy here, but I'm, I'm really a big fan. It's, it's of the best cars that, uh, that I think have ever been produced. And I'm including the McLaren F1s, I'm including the Ferraris. I mean, the Koenigsegg, it looks nice, the fit and finish is nice, and it's fast as stick. So, uh, you are the internet you want, and, and it's cool. You know what I feel like when, when I do videos like this? I'm bringing news to people that come to us for news, and that's what's cool. Uh, a lot of people want essentially fully edited live streams of everything that goes on in life that they're interested in. And the closest you get are us guys in our socks sitting on buckets in our garage. So congratulations to Koenigsegg, uh, the whole team. That car has yet to uh, disappoint me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this race to 300 miles an hour. Uh, who knows what, I mean, this is the closest we've got so far. Uh, documented GPS data of 284 miles an hour, um, but the average of 278, that's the new bar. And I don't see Bugatti getting there anytime soon. Hennessy's probably the only threat to beat that because he's motivated, he knows how to build cars, and, I mean, you just got to think about it. It's, it's all about motivation, and Hennessy's got no problem dropping 6,000 horsepower into that F5. I don't know what he's putting in. But either way, it's going to be exciting. Uh, I hope it all stays safe. I hope everybody is uh, enjoying it, but it's a realm that I'm never going to... I mean, maybe my parents are like, I'm never going to drive 120, but for me... Uh, this is something that I just don't, I've driven over 200 miles an hour plenty of times and I do not, I never felt the need. I'm like, I wish I could go faster. How do I crank it up? This is a game that I do not wish to play and most manufacturers are not going to wish to play it, but those who choose to, it's entertaining. See you next time.